This one is I'm not the I'm gonna say 30 feet. I couldn't hear birds, I couldn't hear like cars that well. Uh, talking to people was a nightmare. It's like trying to find a light switch in the dark. Um, it's really difficult and you have a pretty good shot that you'll find it eventually, but you could be like searching for a little while and sometimes miss it and stub your toe. For my college, like we have oral examinations to get our degree. Um, and my oral was coming up for my thesis, and I needed to be able to hear them. As soon as she started talking and telling us her story, you just like empathize with her so much and just want to help her. So we had finished all the testing, and usually we just say come back at a different time for a hearing aid demonstration or for a hearing aid fitting. And she said, but I really need something right now. And so um, we went into our cabinet of loaner hearing aids and we looked through them and I thought well maybe these would work for her and she loved them she had the biggest smile on her face I mean she just smiled from ear to ear oh that's crazy yeah I can still hear you I hadn't heard in so long that it felt like my brain just didn't know what to do with sound and as soon as they started talking to me I just like lit up and was like oh my god like there's like noise everywhere and like I can hear it and like words sound different tones sound different I'm not like straining to hear like I can actually hear clearly yeah initially I had gone to a um, a meeting with the manufacturer sometimes they give training sessions and I cornered the people <laughs> and they said oh that sounds really interesting email me tell me her story so I emailed and I waited and I waited and I didn't hear and I kept on calling and finally they said yeah we can do that we got these top-of-the-line ones in and I was really excited about that since I knew she had an iPhone because I knew that we could maybe give her more than I thought we could even give her it's been awesome I mean like they like they've watched me go from deaf to hearing and I mean it's great like I love coming back here and I'm like very excited every time and it just not really selfless because it really makes me feel really good so it's selfish in a way too because she probably gave me more than I gave her in her case she said she wanted to go to a university because other audiologists hadn't helped her and she was hoping a place with students other students her age they might empathize and realize, you know, that she really had needs. Um, but I think that um, other people in the community really could benefit from coming here.